Today is August 2nd, 2016. The documentation of the uh, illegal aliens mafia and its government employees continues. Uh, as I uh, have said before, and for those of you who have been following this case, um, this is a, a sample case, uh, Luisa Oyarzun's case. Luisa Oyarzun has given me full legal permission to expose her case and uh, the information about her case. This is a, uh, a case uh, that shows how the illegal aliens mafia persecute hunt, hunts down, persecutes hunts down, and uh, finally uh, murder or assassinate uh, American citizens after they have stolen and sold their identities to illegals in the country and illegal aliens mafia members, including. Um, uh, they also have uh, sold their homes, uh, like in this case, uh, and they have stolen their um, state uh, pension and uh, uh, everything that the citizens own, um, leaving them in complete and absolute poverty. Uh, in this case, Luisa Oyarzun has had a, uh, um, or had a, a, a half a million dollars home in uh, Dover, New Jersey, 54 B East Blackwell Street, Dover, New Jersey, old 7801, and uh, that ha house uh, was stolen by the illegal mafia uh, who work as government employees, as uh, they always do. They also denied her um, her government benefits. Uh, and um, even medical care in the United States. Uh, they have uh, persecuted her, followed and stalked her and uh, members of her family uh, who tried to help her for uh, 16 years. And uh, right now they are uh, looking to see her homeless uh, and are trying to expel her from a trailer community in Lima, New York, uh, where she had to move to escape persecution from uh, Westchester County in um, Westchester, New York. Uh, in Lima, New York belongs to Livingston County, but illegal aliens mafia, uh, uh, the illegal aliens mafia controlled um, uh, certain parts of that county, uh, and including uh, Rochester, and uh, they are trying to illegally evict her from her trailer community in uh, this uh, county, Livingston County. And the Department of Social Services um, Commissioner, who is an illegal aliens mafia member, have stolen and sold her identity as well as her government benefits, as uh, did her dear friend, Mr. Kevin McGuire, who is another illegal aliens mafia members, member. Uh, and um, who is an assassin who have been in charge of assassinating the illegal aliens mafia victims after their identities and government benefits have been stolen. This is a uh, uh, fax uh, sent to uh, illegal aliens mafia member uh, and government employee, state government employee, Ms. Diane Dane, uh, who is the commissioner of the Department of Social Services in, we in Livingston County, Livingston, New York. Um, and this fax reads, um, RE, elderly financial abuse, identity theft, and fraud, among other crimes, federal crimes, uh, b committed by the Department of Social Services employees, Social Security Administration employees, and Centers for Medicare and Medicaid uh, services quote-unquote services, because they provide no services to citizens, only to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members, according to my 15 years research. Um, these centers for Medicare and Medicaid services and the Social Security Administration Office uh, are in charge of falsifying documents that are falsified by illegal aliens mafia members which work there uh, and are placed to work there to falsify the documents so they can continue to perpetuate the illegal aliens mafia trafficking of citizens identities and government benefits uh, again the uh, facts reads cc to federal court at the united states district court southern district of new york docket number 16 dc 1297 and uh, this is a federal lawsuit filed by uh, 
illegal aliens mafia victim uh, who is elderly and chronically ill and dying of cancer as a consequence of the selling uh, of her government benefits by the illegal aliens mafia, specifically illegal aliens mafia member Kevin McGuire and Ms. Diane Dane, commissioners of Westchester Department of Social Services and Livingston County Department of Social Services. Um, She's dying of cancer, of, of, lung, of lung cancer, because of uh, the selling of her New York State trade medicates to illegal aliens uh, in the country, uh, across the country, and specifically in Westchester County as well as in uh, Livingston County, by Ms. Uh, Diane Dane and Mr. Kevin McGuire. Uh, and um, the fast continues to read. Uh, name of sender, Luisa Oyarsun, elderly, chronically ill, cancer dying citizen due to your trafficking of uh, trafficking with government benefits and citizens' identities. Uh, and uh, this um, fax uh, was sent uh, as one of the uh, hundreds of faxes uh, were sent to Miss Diane Dane because. Um, what happened is that they refused to uh, uh, use the um, uh, Medicaid of these elderly and chronically ill citizens um, because they are using it for illegals in the country. So the taxpayers are, are uh, earning uh, their money and paying their taxes so illegals can use free health care in the United States. Uh, which is very unfair and the facts continues to read um, Ms. Diane Dane uh, Livingston County Department of Social Services Commissioner uh, and uh, that's dated uh, August 1st 2016 the fax number is 585-243-7344 Um, the fax uh, says, as with your dear friend Kevin McGuire, my Medicaid doesn't pay for my bills, uh, but for the bills of the illegal aliens, illegal aliens and, and illegal aliens mafia members around the country. This is while my credit continues to be ruined by co the collection agencies. Uh, please stop your illegitimate businesses uh, and the getting of double benefits for uh, me uh, at Westchester County and at Livingston County and pay uh, my bills with my new New York with my New York State trade Medicaid this is what uh, Luisa Oyarsson says and um, this is um, the copy of the receipts, the fax receipts, which says it shows that she received it. Okay, and it shows also the time and the date mm, August 1st, 2016. Okay, and this is the bill. Okay, it says bill date 7 12 16. And July 12, 16, um, bill for physician services at Northern Westchester Hospital. This is pretty strange. Uh, okay, because if uh, she has sent this bill uh, many times to Kevin McGuire and Diane Dane, how come it keeps getting? Uh, back to her. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, right. Um, they are using her Medicaid to pay for illegal uh, medical services, not for hers. Uh, after she worked dozens of years of her life, uh, paid her taxes, paid her social security, um, paid into her social security, and uh, was um, a model citizen. Um, her benefits are sold to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members, just like many millions of other citizens' benefits have been sold to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members. 
and uh, subsequently, of course, they have been assassinated, so they don't complain or report this. By the way, um, the uh, ADA, uh, I mean the uh, uh, AG Attorney General of the State of New York, Mr. Eric T. Snyderman, is fully aware of this, and uh, he uh, turns his face the other way in exchange of what? Uh, I'll let you answer that question. This is a very lucrative um, business that they they have uh, during this regime. And this is the bill and the date of service of the bill is August 9, 2015. Diagnostic service uh, for $447.44. Uh, again, uh, and this was um, Elke, Elking M. Charles. Uh, the account number is this one, and the patient's name is this one, uh, and this is the bill. Okay, this was sent after Luisa Oyarzun moved by the United States Post Office because she changed her address. And this is the Northern Westchester Hospital uh, where Luisa Oyarzun was sodomized by illegal aliens mafia members who work as medical staff there. They almost killed her and they told her not to dare to come back because they, they didn't want her there. Um, probably because they are taking care of many uh, uh, illegals there with her um, uh, social security number and medical uh, insurances. New York State straight, straight Medicaid while um, they gave her a, 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 an insurance, a medical insurance that um, uh, is not good and is fraudulent for which Luisa Oyas never signed up. Uh, which is Medicare Part B, and then they sent her, they had the audacity of sending, sending her letters saying that she signed up for that insurance, and she also asked Kevin McGuire and Ms. Diane Dane to pay um, for that insurance, $140 per month, to have Medicare Part B. Uh, who would uh, believe that? Who would ask for a medical insurance that only covers 20% uh, of your... Um, medical cost and medicines uh, and assures your death when you have uh, a medical insurance that uh, you're entitled to have by law and covers 100%. Only uh, drug dealers and uh, illegal aliens mafia members working for, government, for the government in, uh, of the United States uh, can come up with such stupid things. Uh, it's really insulting to the intelligence of the United States uh, citizens and anybody who stands for liberty and justice uh, in this country. It's really a shame.